back now at 742. As you know, we all spent the morning at the White House on Tuesday, and when the show was over, I headed over to the Capitol. And there I caught up with Republican Paul Ryan as he prepared for his first State of the Union as Speaker of the House. When the door opens and the sergeant in arms makes his announcement, he says, Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. Do it the way he does it. Mr. Speaker! Mr. Speaker! The, is, am I doing too loud? Yeah, no, that's sound good. Guy? The President of the United States. You're going to be sitting right behind the President, and you're presiding over the event. What do you think? I'm practicing my poker face. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to ask you. Good at I was going to ask you if yeah. you have a good poker face. No, I don't. It's Your terrible, face actually. will be seen yeah. during the yeah. entire speech. You know, my wife Jana tells me you better work on that poker face because you're really not that good at it. So he stands up there and says something that you don't agree with. The face I'm going to see is what? How's that? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> Elected to the Speaker's office after House Republicans ousted John Boehner, this was a job Ryan initially said he didn't want, given its demands on his time as a parent. You've been in the job a little more than two months now. What surprised you the most? That I like it. <laughs> you really didn't think you were going to like yeah, it? It wasn't my plan. I'm kind of like the dog who caught the car who wasn't chasing it in the first place. Uh, I actually was able to redesign the job. I was actually able to do it with my own circumstances, like family weekends at home with my family. Away from the family, his days here in Washington are a blur of meetings, briefings, and shepherding his party's agenda through Congress. High on his priority list, health care. The House and the Senate last week passed a bill that would have re repealed the Affordable Care Act. I think it's the 62nd time that's happened, and, and obviously the president vetoed it. Did you put out what you consider to be any kind of alternative? I talked to the president yesterday. And I talked to him about that veto, and he said, you know what? It's very easy for the Republicans to come up with bill after bill to repeal something, but when are they going to come up with a plan that is better? You're exactly right. We do have to show what we would replace it with. When Here's will that we happen? It. When That's are what, we going to see This that is the plan. process we're going through this year. It's, mm -hmm. So we, we, we owe the country, by the end of this year, by the time we're talking about this in the summer and the fall, I believe we owe the country, here's what we should replace Obamacare with. All this amid a contentious election, even just within his own party. Right now, the front runner in the presidential race on the Republican side, yeah. you're smiling at me already, is Donald Trump. This is a guy who has said that some immigrants coming here from Mexico are rapists. He's called for a ban on Muslims entering this country. Is that the kind of idea you can live with? Well, I've already spoken clearly about how we should not have a religious test on people coming to America. We should defend the First Amendment, which is religious freedom. When Donald Trump offered or proposed his ban on Muslims coming into this country, you yeah. said this. This is not conservative. It's not, conservative. it's not what the party stands for. You didn't mention... And it's not what the country stands for. That's right. So if he becomes the nominee of the party, will you support him? Yes, I will. I'll support whoever our nominee is. Again, I remember, as Speaker of the House, I'm the chairman of the convention. So I don't agree with him on that. Yeah, and how do you I made get your arms clear. around that, though? How do you square that? Because you don't agree with everybody on everything. Let me read you a quote, and if you can, tell me who said this. <laughs> All, All right. right. Vince Lombardi. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go to the Packers yeah, okay. every <laughs> single time. It says, I don't agree on priorities with someone like Speaker Paul Ryan, but I think he's an honest broker. Who uh, do you think said that? A Democrat, a prominent Democrat. Hillary Clinton said that. All right. I didn't know that. How do you feel when you hear that? I feel good. So give me a quote about Hillary Clinton. She's a very smart person. Uh, she's, she's a determined woman, and uh, she, will, she will be um, a great former first lady and senator for here on out. <laughs> Presidential politics and the demands of the speakership aside, Paul Ryan seems to be embracing his new job. If not the office space, his predecessor left behind. So you get to redecorate the place, all right? So talk to me about some it of the It doesn't smell like smoke, does it? Well, I was going to ask you about yeah. that. There was a, a rumor that there was an overwhelming tobacco-type yeah. smell in yeah, here. Yeah, two packs a day for five years can do that. What would you do to get rid of it? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> New carpeting, had to redo the upholstery, and had to repaint the walls. I, I couldn't get the smell out of here. We then so left his brand-new digs for a better view. Do you ever have time, Mr. Speaker, to ask yourself how a kid from Wisconsin, humble beginnings... Yeah, I still don't believe it sometimes. ...hardworking parents, um, worked in fast-food restaurants, ends up on this perch in this town with this kind of power. Only in America. Only in America.
<laughs> and he did have the best seat of the house last night. How'd you think he did with his poker face? during the speech. I, we're not reading anything about any funny faces, so I think he succeeded. Well, it was kind of nice to him. You could see there were a couple of moments he exchanged with Joe Biden yeah. that seemed, yeah. seemed yeah. very yeah. genuine. Yeah. All right. I like how that's he good. said he likes the job and that surprised him. <laughs> Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.